everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Mary this is a Mary life on a budget we are currently working to pay off forty three thousand dollars in debt and in between staying home today with my baby and pretending to be Snow White while we play and try to feel better I wanted to do a debt snowball update for the month of March so this is our current debt snowball if you watch my live pay debt with me you'll know that I paid off loan 4a so that got a check mark and now we are going to do the debt update for March so let's get started so the debt start amount at the beginning of March was 32,000 whoo 167 and 77 cents but still a lot and payments made during the month of March on 3-1 we made a loan 3 payment and that was $100 on 3-7 we paid toward loan 4-A I actually didn't realize actually this was all of loan so A, B, C, D, this was the payment that was due for the whole account, which the majority, at least $100 went to interest. As you'll see in the final amount down here, a lot of this went to interest. So 3-8, we did make a loan for A payment, and that was $200. Then on the 21st, we did another loan for A, and that was $50. So we did a bunch of snowflake payments this month, which I finally am realizing how much snowflake payments kind of build up and give you momentum. It's pretty awesome. On the 26th, I got some side income and made a $297 payment. I think that was the YouTube income. So that was, I've decided to use all YouTube income to pay down debt until we are mortgage free. So everything I earn from this channel will be going straight toward this debt number and then straight toward our mortgage. So as my channel, if we continue to grow, which thank you guys for all the support so far, you guys will help uh, us achieve our goal of paying off this and then our mortgage. So we'll be debt free. That I've just decided that's the easiest thing to do instead of splitting it up and using it. However, I'm just going to completely use it toward debt. So 297 of my AdSense revenue went toward debt. And then on the 31st, I did a live pay debt with me and did a payment of 143.68, which I thought paid it off, but it didn't. So <laughs> I had to go back in and do a 16 cent payment, but I paid it off that day. So that's okay. I realized I have to get the payoff amount first, but we did pay off loan for a so if I flip back to my goodness I shouldn't have closed it if I flip back to my debt snowball in my mini planner I have checked it off and I have colored it in in my main debt planner so that is done and now we're moving back up to loan three but for all intents and purposes we are done with loan for a so the end balances Loan three, which is an Ed Financial loan. That amount is five thousand. So this is what we're paying next. A five thousand five hundred eighty nine and thirteen cents. And that is the loan we are tackling next. It is by itself. And then loan four, which is multiple inside of it. That is with AES. That was what we were tackling. And now we're going to go back to the other, but this one is the big one. It's $25,734.83. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> the end balance, so debt end at the end of March, was $31,323.96. So we did jump down to the next thousand dollar mark i'm so excited to get this under thirty thousand so once we make some progress on loan three it's going to be real exciting but the worst part about this month was we paid one thousand 
56, 42. And we only reduced the loan $843.81. So a lot of what we paid, not a lot, but what some of what we paid went to interest, which is such just, ugh, it's disgusting. Actually, the whole thing is disgusting because these balances are already so much more than what they originally were when they were taken out for my schooling. They, the amount we started with this debt snowball is so much more than I actually took out for school. It's just, don't ignore your loans. I think I say this every time I do a debt update, but if you're newly graduated, do not ignore your student loans. It is not worth it. So our current debt balance of the student loans that we are paying right now is $31,323.96. So this is how far we have to go until we are free of just debt in our family. And then we will be tackling the mortgage, but that's a whole nother story. So for now we are at $31,323. And finally, this is our student loan tracker. It's all actually on our fridge. So we have all of our little magnets and then we have our student loan tracker with the debt amount it started at 43,000 obviously and let's see we are up to we are past 32,000 so I'm gonna color in one line it's not a lot but it gives me a little bit of happiness and it feels like we're making progress since we did put a thousand dollars toward the loans this month it's not the month of three thousand which is you know way better but it was a thousand dollars and that is a lot that is a lot so all right we're up to about thirty one thousand let's not look at all the way we have to go let's just focus on look at all those beautiful colors look how far we've come